the immediate challenges are coming from uh, the ongoing uh, what people have some people have called including the current administration genocide in Darfur dealing with the crisis in the eastern DRC and several other hotspots on the continent but in addition to that I guess there is an increasing desire by Africans to see uh, the relationship between the US and Africa transformed into a strategic one and in, in trying to help these situations, is it a military role that Africa wants to see or some sort of leadership role? I, the military aspect, I think, is less desired. And uh, what Africans are looking for is to work with the U.S., especially in the context of multilateral frameworks like the United Nations, to address these very you know, uh, troubling issues on the continent. Uh, as we focused on this program in the past, on the growing middle class in Africa, and so th there are still beyond that, though, serious issues, hunger and poverty. They're still prime, the primary problems. I mean, clearly, there is, uh, there is no denying the fact that they exist side by side. But I think what is interesting to note also, in addition to the poverty that uh, is quite prevalent uh, across the continent, there are enormous amounts of opportunities that are, are coming up, especially with the growing middle class across the continent. And I should remind your viewers that Africa has uh, one of the youngest populations in the world and provides uh, the U.S. with a great deal of opportunities. And quickly, we're almost out of time, energy is a significant issue for Africa. Explain why. I mean, uh, to put this in context, in 2007, the U.S. imported more oil from Africa than the Middle East. And by 2015, it is uh, uh, projected that 25% uh, of U.S. oil will be coming from the African continent. I think that is quite a significant development, and uh, it will clearly transform the relationship from one of a humanitarian one to a strategic one, I hope. Sergio Ba, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks. Thank you.